Happy Monday, everyone. Hi. Yep, my daughter's here to help. Um, we went to IKEA over the weekend, as you can see. Um, not everything here is from IKEA, but since I have some stuff, I'm, I'm just going to throw it in anyways. Um, originally, I want to do a walk around at IKEA, around the plant area. But I think I might have deleted the intro or something. So by just adding those clips, it might seem weird. So I'm just going to do the haul first, and then I'm going to add those clips at the end of this video. Okay? So what do I have, Emily? We have pots. Yep, so we bought some cheap pots. I love these pots. Um, they have drainage holes. Well, can't really see the hole because of the thing. But I mean, the hole is not big in this one, but it's still a hole. And it comes with a saucer. Um, How cute. I think I, I, I lost my receipt. So I apologize, I don't have the exact um, prices. Um, but I'll do a little research and I'll add it to the video, so don't worry. And um, yeah, this is I think under $5, or around $5. And, and the second same, pot. Same with this, again, I have a whole bunch of these already. I have a big one for my uh, well, you should little piece lily. And, lily. and I have another one for my uh, bird's nest fern. So here's another one. Again, this is probably like around $4. Uh, again, under $5. Can't, can't go back with these pots. We um, have lanterns. I, I'm, I'm not done yet. Oh. So originally I got these two pots because I have this Anthurium. Anthurium that I got for Valentine's Day that I wanted to repot because this one doesn't have a drainage hole. Exactly. And this is my first plant that is planted in bark. Well, besides the orchids. But I don't know how to water this without a drainage hole. Because when I try to pour out the extra water, everything inside falls out with it. And, it, whoops. It's turned a little yellow too. Well, maybe not yellow, but like, Mid the leaves there. got a little lighter. So I'm afraid that it's not liking this. Habitat. Yeah. Thank you, Em. <laughs> yeah, so, and uh, I was like, would this be a good pot? But then now that I have it side by side, it might be a little small, don't you think? Well, just take out some of the bark. Well, this is a big plant. It might need it. So I don't know. Maybe I have to go shopping again for another pot. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Daddy's like, uh-oh. Okay, also, I have this plant. Oh, shoot, it's kind of wet. That would fit perfectly. Not really. Uh, this arrowhead, um, I don't think I've posted up the haul yet or the walk around at Mahoney's, but I got this at a very good deal. Um, if you, if I haven't posted up yet, just wait and you'll find out how much I paid for. But yeah, got a great deal out of this plant. And again, I was hoping I can plant, repot this or split it up somehow because it's, it's really, really packed in. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but extremely packed packed in, and um, the really the dead. the new leaves are being covered and and they're being very um yeah they're not getting light and some parts are browning too so I don't know I was thinking maybe I need to repot this so again. That's why I bought these. But let's see, let's see what happens if I'm gonna use them or not. Okay, Next, Em. We have a lantern. This is what the lantern So we got some candlelight lanterns. Um, here you go. Original price was $3.99. I believe it was a dollar off. This is what it looks like without the paper inside. $2 off. $1 oh, it's $2 off? So it's $1.99, sorry. This is what yeah, and I thought like these would be a great project. To do in the spring with um, the kids, kids or with my sister Erica, I don't know. This and is what it can, looks uh, like without the. Paper. Do some kind of succulent arrangements since these arrangements have been so popular lately. Don't you think they're cute? I think they're cute. Of course you can. So yeah, you can close them up, leave them open, yes. and there's um, breathing holes here if you do decide to close it. it. But I mean, if you do decide to plant it, um, it might not be a good idea to leave it outside in hot heat because it will be burning inside. So maybe something to 
have indoors? Yes. I don't know. Okay, so I got two of these. Um, what clay balls? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't know what they call this, but they call it Odla. Well, yeah, clay balls. So, <laughs> um, I've been watching a lot of videos online lately, and people been using these for orchids and also for succulents too. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll give this a try. Um, some people use it for um, on the bottom of the pots too for a, a false. Um, bottom so yeah I'm gonna I bought a bag to play with okay Next, so that's oh and then we also bought a trellis well actually I helped Erica buy a trellis it was on sale I believe it was around $35 on sale for $9 or $10 I mean so it was a great deal um, I'll tell her to actually no she's not gonna set it up so I'm gonna go put a picture up over here and you'll see how it looks like Next, we okay. have a wheel. So, these are not from Ikea. These are from the Ocean Job Lot. I had to go there the other day, and I had a uh, $10 gift card. Yes. So I was like, you know, I'm going to just use it up. So here is a plant stand, $5. Yes. $5. Nice quality. For five. Really good. Yep. Okay, so yeah, so this one you can just leave the pot on here and water it. You don't have to take it out like the IKEA ones. So yeah, five dollars. They're like half the price of the IKEA ones. So yeah, got one. And spring is coming. Um, my kids have been asking to plant seeds and stuff, so I bought a seed starter, three fifty. Yeah. So yeah, that's my haul. Um, I'm going to start with the little clips that we took at IKEA. So hope you enjoy and hope to see you guys soon. So make sure you subscribe and give a thumbs up and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey. Look at this cute idea. It's a juice box. I know. Upcycle your juice boxes. And recycle. And, and then very cute. $5.99. This is a very nice corner plant stand. Thirty dollars Has three legs. Let me see. So it's pretty sturdy. I guess you can you can actually put something pretty heavy here. Very nice. Another plant stand, forty bucks. Uh, this is I, I believe is more decorative. You can fit three small pots. So yeah, and this, yeah, you can swivel these. So you want me to swing it by to water it. Swing it back on me. Yeah, here's a cute book about plants, growing things. Cute book. And this is on display, so I forgot how much it costs, but yeah. Cute book. Little boss. A little tray to carry them. Very cute. This is very cute. This is fake. But look, even this little um, vase is very cute. 
$5. And this thing, the dome, $15. We have such the cutest things here. I love this place. There's another box where you can put pants. OMG, look at these. They're fake. <laughs> but they're so cute. I think this is like $30. This is a hundred. This tall thing. Hundred. Oh, the string is five dollars. So I'm the hanger, I mean. And these are ceramic decoration. Oh, too cute, too cute. Fake cactus. Notice that they're selling a lot of fake stuff. Look at this section. Very excited to explore. I don't know, there's not much of a pet selection today. Oh, that's it. Feels good. Lick it. Just lick it. Lick it. It's so nice. It grows it. They always have aloe here. I think this is where I got my aloe. Which is not doing too good right now. I love these terracotta pots. They're so cheap. Five bucks and a close of a saucer. Love it. So so why do they keep buying? Why, why do we buy them? What's the point of buying them? Six months from now, they're going to be dead. Okay. It's funny, you hear that husband yelling at the wife telling them not to buy plants. Oh, poor, poor plants. Look at it. I love all white everything. Overwatering. This is a kind of thing. We always have bamboos here. And orchids. Palms. Yep, so waiting in line to check out. Look at this. Uh, we'll do a quick plant haul or a keel haul. Get back. Okay, so see you then. Bye.